Are you excited, Paul? Very excited, Dave, thank you. We're in the Peas, it's the most beautiful afternoon. This is Monday, and is it? Yes, it's Monday. <laughs> the stuff stood, and, and we're getting it done. Hopefully we'll get this field out today. But we'd really like to, because I think this week's not gonna be that pretty. Had we'd realised we were gonna get all this touch and go weather, we'd have just forced, you know, done them maybe two weeks ago. Hindsight's so so easy, and with, and with all that warm weather, we could have actually got the the odd immaterial one dry in the heat. But just cracked a random pod open, and you can see the pretty bleached out. So this is going to really really hurt in the contract price. There's quite a, well, just a vast deduction for bleaching. So this is the first time in a week the combine's actually made dust. Quite something to behold. He says he can't see anything going one way. We start off today one looking like a punk rocker, but two with an oil leak on the on the digger, the trusty digger. So this has got a little uh, wear fatigue in the pipe there, and it's just starting to cry on me so I'm gonna get this off and change while it's a bit in tune fit for combining. I have a butt plug ready but I didn't need it. That's good. Uh, so I'm spotting a theme here. This is the other side. I think I'm gonna do that one as well. It's just starting to rust the wires away there. I'll get them done. So that looks scary from here. It's a long way up. When is it? It's like four meters. Whoa! Are just swapping the wheels over. So they're all on. And now I think Paul's got the rest of the morning to do a new driver training. I think Paul's going to do it. So the, other, uh, so the other one looks a bit downward on the back because so they switched the airbag bags off for roading to keep the gravity well, yeah, the centre of gravity down. Be a good square for somebody that will.
Does it seem much different when you drive it? And is off. To be fair, there's not actually a great deal of difference. It just shows how nicely they evolve. Except, you know, there's a lot more tech on this newer one. I'm just saying, Fred Campling's 98 years old. He still gets up. He still saw him this morning at, for work. Fred, uh, Fred Campling's the owner of uh, the haulage business there. It's been out. You might be able to tell. Didn't say clean for long. <laughs> What nozzles are you running, Paul? We've got the Leckler. That's a twin outlet. 25 centimetre spacing. That's a single outlet. Twin outlet, single. So I can spray one line at, at, on the twin outlets or one line on the single outlets. Or I can spray both lines on a twin and a single for maximum coverage. And I've got the same again in the O25s. So I've got the same again, I can go from 100 litres to 200 litres. Well, I've been out to 350 this morning, spraying. Uh, what nozzles are there, are they anything special? They're all Leckler. No, as in like the volume? Uh, I don't know about the volume, it's sort of different on PWM. It, they're not fixed volume rates. I, I set the rate in the cab, I set the pressure to what I want it and it won't deviate over that whether I go fast or forward it alters the pulses to the nozzle can't, I can't quite see we both need a glasses on <laughs> yeah well <laughs> even though they're all uh, O reds what are they they're O fours oh that's what I was meant to ask you a minute ago yeah yeah they're O O fours yeah one's a twin outlet one's a single so it's not interrupting with a spray pattern was you spraying earlier on 25 centimetre yeah yeah. Yeah, it's all a bit of a learning curve. And uh, the, they're the lilacs, they're 025s. The 025 uh, brown ones, they're dirt nozzles. Not a chance to use them. Oh! Uh, yeah. What, as a jet or yeah. a dribble? Jet, uh, 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 five stream. Five streams, yeah. While Paul's not about, we're just moving uh, this, or well, Max has just jumped in to move this tracks forward, just popping the wheel weights in. 
good on the front of here, can't really see. Are you relaxed, Abby? As you can see here, we've got all the peas in the shed, which was lovely, and we combined them in beautiful conditions. They all stood well. It was all textbook, the most fantastic evening of the year. But what's going on? They're all dry. I don't have to put any heat in, but the colour isn't there. We really want them green, or our buyers want them green. These are over 10% stained, which actually is really hard to, to do now, as in to combine green peas, because we've lost Reglone. Reglone was the spray which you can spray, desiccate, kill them off, and they'll be ready to combine in three to four days. Now, we can't do that. So we're in the look of gods with the weather that we to get green peas, because it's the, the, the sun just bleaches them there's probably 60% not green there. And they want them green, which is actually, with the loss of regular, is frankly ridiculous, because to get green peas now, you've got to cut them. Now, we've alert now, we've got to cut them immature and just have all the unripe ones in the heap, which which kind of wish you didn't have. You can't go back, you can only learn. So yeah, this is, this is gonna be a quite a brutal deduction. Thank <laughs> you. 